Instead of measures that harm law enforcement and promote racial profiling, like the Arizona immigration law, we need practical solutions to fix a broken immigration system. That case was before the Supreme Court. The court made its decision today because this body, the Senate and the House, have failed to accept their responsibility. We have a responsibility, if in fact immigration is a federal issue, for a federal response, and we failed. Now the first step we should take in passing comprehensive immigration reform is to pass the DREAM Act, legislation that would allow a select group of immigrant students who grew up in this country to earn citizenship, either by attending college or serving in the military. Russell Pierce is the author of the Arizona Immigration Law. He had this to say about the DREAM Act, and I quote, the DREAM Act is one of the greatest legislative threats to America's sovereignty, national security, and economic future, end of quote. Well, I see it differently, and so do many others, including General Colin Powell and former Defense Secretary Robert Gates. They support the DREAM Act because it would make America a stronger country by giving these talented immigrants the chance to serve in the military and contribute to the future of America. The best way to understand the problems with the Arizona immigration law and the need for the DREAM Act and comprehensive immigration law is to hear the stories of some of the immigrant students who would be eligible for the DREAM Act. They call themselves dreamers. Almost every week in the session, I come to the floor of the Senate to tell the story of one of these young people. Over the years, I've told stories of several dreamers from the state of Arizona. Under the Arizona law, these young people would be targets for prosecution and incarceration. Under the DREAM Act, they would be future citizens who could make America and Arizona stronger. Today, I want to introduce one of them to you from Arizona. Her name is Angelica Hernandez. She was brought to Phoenix, Arizona when she was nine years old. She started school in the fourth grade. By the time she reached the sixth grade, Angelica no longer took English as a second language. She was proficient in the language of English. At Carl Hayden High School in Phoenix, Arizona, Angelica served in junior ROTC and was president of the National Honor Society. She became a dedicated member of the school's robotics club where she found her true love, engineering. Angelica graduated from high school with a 4.5 GPA in 2007 and was named Outstanding Young Woman of the Year for District 7 in Phoenix. Last year, Angelica Hernandez graduated from Arizona State University. You can see her holding her graduation certificate here. As the outstanding senior in the Mechanical Engineering Department with a 4.1 GPA. Under the Arizona immigration law, Angelica Hernandez would be a target for prosecution and incarceration. Under the DREAM Act, she would be a future citizen and engineer who could contribute her talents to making this a better country. What a choice. To take this woman who has spent virtually her entire life, as she remembers it, in America, attending our schools, excelling in those schools, being acknowledged as one of the better students, her ambition takes her to a great university, Arizona State University, where she graduates at the top of her class in mechanical engineering, and some would say, now is the perfect time to tell her to leave America. I think they're wrong. Angelica Hernandez and people like her will make this a better country. Unlike the Arizona immigration law, the DREAM Act is a practical solution to a broken immigration system. The Arizona law would harm law enforcement and encourage profiling. The DREAM Act would make America stronger. Now, President Obama understands this. That's why he challenged the Arizona law, taking the case to the Supreme Court. And that's why earlier this month, I salute the President for announcing his administration will no longer deport people just like Angelica Hernandez, who would be eligible for the DREAM Act. I strongly support President Obama's courage and his decision. It is one of the most historic humanitarian moments of our time. His decision will give these young immigrants the chance to finally come out of the shadows and be part of the only country they've ever called home. It was the right thing to do. These students didn't make the decision to come to this country. Angelica was brought here at the age of nine. And it is not the American way to punish children for the wrongdoing of their parents. President Obama's new deportation policy will make America better 
by giving these talented immigrants the chance to contribute. Studies have found that DREAM Act students will literally boost the American economy during their working lives. This policy is also clearly legal. Throughout our history, the government has decided who to prosecute and who not to prosecute based on law enforcement priorities and available resources. Past administrations of both political parties have used their authority to stop deportation of low priority cases. The courts have recognized that. The administration's new policy on the DREAM Act is only temporary, I understand that. The burden is still on us in the Senate and the House to do something about the many thousands of students across America, just like this dynamic young lady in Arizona, who simply want a chance to be part of America and its future. Our first step, pass the DREAM Act. Do it and do it now. Justice Kennedy wrote in his opinion today, the history of the United States is in part made of the stories, talents, and lasting contributions of those who crossed oceans and deserts to come here. End of quote. Justice Kennedy's right. Congress should reform our immigration laws so we can once again welcome those who crossed the oceans and deserts to revitalize and strengthen this nation of immigrants.